of humanity. Okay. And I'm going to start this over again. That's why I work with young people. They know technology. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jonathan. I'm a composer here in LA, and I composed a piece of music called Anthem of Humanity. And for me, it's my inspiration for all of your contribution for global health and millennium development goals. It's also my inspiration to create music that brings people together. That's my contribution to the well-being of humanity and cultures on Earth. Uh, it is an anthem, and it is a call for change, and it's a call for action, and a call to come from one's uniqueness and one's heart to make a difference in the way that you specifically feel called to do. I'm inspired by all of you, especially the younger generation that is there. Uh, it means so much to me. I have a young, budding rock star student. Uh, she's 12, and we collaborate and write music together often. And uh, any way that I can contribute to the youth and supporting you to honor your own unique genius and compassion and inspiration that you have to bring forward change. That's what this music is about. And maybe, hopefully, there's some part of this piece that will evoke that within you. So please enjoy listening to Anthem of Humanity.
hope you enjoyed that. It was created especially for you. You are welcome to copy it as often as you wish and to share it. As Jonathan said in his video, <coughs> one of the, the bylines, we all belong to each other. And this planet belongs to all of us. So it's together that we are going to make the necessary changes. Thank you so much. This ends the first part of our program. We'll take a very short break, and then we will turn the program over to Mr. Demodran, who will lead the panel. Thank you. We the panel starts in about, uh, where? Well, start right now, I suppose. Thanks so much <laughs> for that sudden frightening. Um, my name is Ramu, Ramu Damodran. I'm with the Department of Public Information at the, at the United Nations. And it's my privilege to, to welcome you to this first panel. It's going to be an exciting panel. I'm, uh, I think all of us are particularly honored to be in what um, Joanne so eloquently called this House of Africa. And uh, I think it's, a, it's, it's symbolic in many senses. There is an African proverb which says that it's not the enemy without that we must fear, it's the enemy within. And I think the African Union, as Ambassador Antonio said, has shown what can happen when the energies of an entire continent are summoned together for common purpose. And it's also something I think which all of your presence today represents in terms of the Millennium Development Goals. If I can try and build on the references that have been made to, to global health, as so critical to the goals, I would give you a metaphor, if you will, to, to use the, <coughs> the end theme of the DPR NGO conference, which, uh, which Mary, Mary Norton shared with us, that of clean water. Imagine, if you will, a pool or an ocean of clean water, and that clean water represents health, and all the constituents of health, nutrition, sanitation, an equitable trading system for pharmaceuticals, a clean environment. And in that pool of clean water, you have six billion <coughs> people standing around that. And each of them is carrying with them a pan, a saucepan, if you will. Some pans are holes, some are actually riddled with holes and can leak. So each one of us goes to that pool to try and get ourselves a part of public health. We dip our pans in the water and bring it out. And, as I'm sure you can surmise, those of us who've got pans with holes in them which are leaky will never be able to contain the water that represents public health. So how do we immerse our pans in that desire? And I think to all of you the answer will come, the only way you can immerse the pans is to throw the pans into that clean water. So similarly, when we talk of the Millennium Development Goals, I think each of those goals, rather than being considered separate or discrete or distinct, this is not whatever the current metaphor or the season.